Hey, I'm just hanging around. Hey everybody, I'm Steven Human, your host for At Your Leisure this week. Join me as I go for a climb. Don't try this at home. Speaking of not trying things at home, these guys made Wyoming winter. Make sure you're tied securely, because At Your Leisure with Chad and Corby Booth is coming your way next. Oh, Jeff, tell me this is it. This is it, you made it. <laughs> that was a heck of a climb. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm your guest host, Stephen Human. I'm here with Jeff Baird and we are taking you on a very frosty winter adventure in the hills outside of Provo, Utah. Now we're at Provo Canyon right now and we are about to go ice climbing. Now, Jeff, what is ice climbing? It's like rock climbing, only a lot colder. Okay. <laughs> it's essentially climbing uh, frozen waterfalls. Okay, now why would you climb a frozen waterfall? Uh, a lot of people ask me that and I, I haven't come up with a good answer yet. It's just something fun to do. I guess there's that little part of human nature that wants to do something dangerous for no good reason. Okay. <laughs> now you didn't pick a hard one today, right? Now this is a, this is a nice easy one. It's a popular one for, for beginners. Okay, great. That, this, this is pretty daunting and we're going to take you through the entire process. We're going to go ahead and get geared up here in a second. While we do that, why don't you go to our travel adventure. We're going to take you up north to Wyoming and follow a couple of guys who have found a way to survive, recreation-wise, the brutal Wyoming winter. Weldy. Well, if you'd like more information on our travel adventure and how you can go ATVing during the winter in Wyoming, just check out the At Your Leisure website. There's a lot of great information there. Well, Jeff is starting up the wall. I'm actually going to take over here in a minute, but he's giving me some of the pointers on how to correctly scale a wall of ice. Now, this is straight ice. There's no rock here. It's very, very slick, and uh, he's going to help me to get from point A to point B, as it were. Now, now Jeff, you were showing me a little bit um, with, the, with all the gear here. Right, right. <laughs> the, with the pick placements, what you want to do is, is look for little grooves in the ice, look for okay. concave areas. That's where you're going to get the best placement. If you're trying to place on bulges like this, then you're going to knock a lot more ice off and take a lot more swings to get a good placement. So what you want to do is look for the nice little grooves and just kind of flip your wrist and let the weight of the head drive it into the ice. So just a little flip of the wrist, you'll get some ice coming off occasionally. Ooh. Then once you get a good one, you can yank it down on it to make sure it's good. Move right. your feet up, keeping your heels nice and low. You'll notice that there's, there's two sets of points on these. Uh, the first point are the front points that you're going to kick into the ice. Then there's a secondary set of points that give you a, a stable platform to stand on. So what you want to do is kick straight into the ice and then drop your heel down so that it engages the ice and gives you a nice little platform. All right. The other mistake I see a lot of people make is they'll turn their foot sideways and try to get a, a good purchase. You want to make sure it's straight in the ice and your heel's low and then just walk your way up the ice. Well, I'm gonna take over here in a minute and I'm gonna scale this wall. This is gonna be really exciting. We gotta take a commercial break when we come back, Chad. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Human. You have joined me in the middle of my first ice climb. This is pretty great. I'm here with Jeff Baird, my belayer, who's teaching me some of the ins and outs of this sport. Now, Jeff, how did you get in to uh, climbing frost waterfalls? It seems kind of weird. Well, we've been rock climbing since I was about 12 and it just kind of evolved into this. Uh, we wanted something that we could do year round and ice climbing seemed pretty exciting so we thought we'd give it a try. Now for those of you who don't know, a couple of months ago we actually did a story with Jeff where he was repelling from waterfalls. They weren't frozen, it was in the middle of the summer. Now Jeff, how did you get into that? We started doing it mainly for training for canyoneering. Canyoneering involves going down narrow slot canyons and a lot of times there's swift moving water. So we started doing that just to, to get some training of swift water repelling. And then it turned into something we could do on a regular basis to keep cool when it gets hot in the summer. My hat's off to you, Jeff, for climbing all this stuff. Right now, we're going to move from a frozen waterfall to this week's trailhead adventure. All right. Well, if you'd like more information on this week's trailhead adventure, just go to the At Your Leisure website. Right now, I'm up pretty high. Jeff's down below me on belay. I'm about halfway up. This is actually not as difficult as it looks. Basically, you jab these in, gives you a nice good grip, then you kick with your feet, and up you go. It's not that bad. I'm safe, I'm on belay right now. Jeff's got me from the bottom, so not worried about falling. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher while I do that one, you take a look at tips. Now let's see if Steve has made it to the top of the waterfall yet. Ah. Well, congratulations to this week's winner. Daniel Summit is definitely on my list of the top places to go snowmobiling in the state of Utah. Well, as you can see, I have reached the top of my first ice climb. It's a long way down, but it hasn't been that scary. A little bit tiring, but this is something that you should definitely try. Well, I do have to get down, and this belay is pretty safe, so I think I'm going to try rappelling 
while I get ready to take the plunge, why don't you take a look at next week's show? All right, well, I am descending currently, doing a little bit of ice repel. Next week's show looks great, by the way. If you've ever thought about doing something like this, do it. It's not as scary or as hard as you think. It's actually a lot of fun. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of At Your Leisure. I know I have. Between now and the next time we meet, make sure that you get out with your family and friends. And enjoy the great outdoors at your leisure. All right, I'm going down now. Woo! While we do that, we're going to have to take a Two, one, go. I'm falling on my death. Uh, and see, really busy as the RV and boat shows are coming. As I'm falling on my butt. Uh, Daniel Summit is definitely. Oh, hold on. <laughs>